Hello again, everyone. In this really simple tutorial, we're going to do two things. One, we're going to create some drop shadows behind our Polaroids. And two, I'm going to show you a nifty way to move them uh, together. So first, how do we create a drop, drop shadow? So on our Polaroid copy layer, which is our old uh, temple image, we are going to go to filters, light and shadow, and drop shadow. And we're going to get the drop shadow dialog window. And we're, the, the standard settings are fine. You can play around with those if you like. We're going to say OK. And we'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see the effect. There's our drop shadow. Um, we'll do that one more time. Um, on the Dancer Polaroid, we'll go to Filters, Light and Shadow, Drop Shadow, and say OK. Now we have two Polaroids with drop shadows. And if we want, the, the thing I want to show you about moving them is if we link up the Polaroid copy, with the drop shadow, when we choose our move tool, those two things will move together, the shadow and the Polaroid. If they're not linked, as you see here, the Polaroid of the dancer and the drop shadow are not linked, they will not move together. That's all there is to it, creating drop shadows from objects in GIMP. Till next time.